Hi, I'm Brenda and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be making a gluten-free blueberry lemon yogurt coffee cake. I recently got a bag of Bob's Red Mill gluten-free one-for-one baking flour. This is a new product. I've already used it once in another recipe. It's great. In this bag, they combine together sweet white rice flour, whole grain brown rice flour, potato starch, whole grain sweet white sorghum, tapioca flour, and xanthan gum. So let's get this recipe started. I'm using a stand-up mixer with a paddle, cream together until light and fluffy, room temperature butter, and sugar. After the sugar and butter have been creamed, I scrape down the bowl. I'm now going to add two slightly beaten eggs with a little bit of vanilla. and the zest from one lemon. In a medium bowl, I whisk together the gluten-free flour, baking powder, baking soda, and salt. I removed the bowl from the stand-up mixer, and I'm going to be using a wooden spoon. I'm going to add the flour mixture, and stir this just until it's combined. After I mixed the batter with the wooden spoon, I switched over to a rubber spatula. As you can tell, this is very, very thick. I'm going to be adding yogurt. I'm going to fold this in. Yogurt really helps to make gluten-free coffee cakes and quick breads nice and moist. You can see how the yogurt helped to thin out the batter. In a small bowl with a fork, I combine together brown sugar, cinnamon, nutmegs, and walnuts. You can either use fresh or frozen blueberries. I lightly toss them with a little bit of gluten-free flour. Now I'm going to combine them in with the batter and gently stir this all together. In the meantime, my oven has been preheated to 350 degrees and I've greased and floured an 8 inch baking pan. Spread half of the batter across the bottom of the baking pan. Now I'm going to sprinkle on half of the brown sugar and walnut mixture. Just like that. And then I'm going to top with the remaining batter. I found that using a small metal spatula made it very easy for me to spread out the batter. I'm now going to take the remainder of the brown sugar mixture, combine it with a little bit of butter. Using my fingers, I'll crumble it up and make it into the streusel topping. I forgot to mention that I mixed in some gluten-free flour to make my crumb topping. Now I'm going to sprinkle this over the top layer. Oh, this is going to be so good. I love the combination of blueberries and lemon. If you're not a fan of lemons, you can leave the lemon zest out. Okay, this is ready to go into the oven. The coffee cake took 60 minutes to bake. I use my digital thermometer, insert it into the center when it reaches an internal temperature of 205 to 210, your cake is done. I'm going to leave it in the pan, cool it on a wire rack. When I'm ready to serve, I'll let you see what it looks like. It sure smells good. This blueberry cake is nice and moist. I love the hints of blueberry and lemons. The crumb topping is delicious with the walnuts and brown sugar. Nice golden color. If you would like a printed copy of this recipe, I'll put a link down below. I hope you give it a try. Thanks for watching.